Hello and welcome to my channel, The Senior Crochet. My name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my return subscribers for spending some time with me. Alright everyone, so today I'm, talk I'm here to talk about the progress of my hashtag Make Scrap Yarn Challenge. Um, challenge. <laughs> and before I get into what I have done, I just want to thank everyone who has been participating in this and um, either has shown their progress so far or at least has just um, did an opener video saying that they would join in on the challenge and just showed their very beginning progress. So thank you to everyone. I truly appreciate you all. And um, your work is not going to be in vain because I'm sure you're going to enjoy your projects, but also there are going to be prizes. So um, Rail at the Dabbling Hook is going to donate a bag and Anna from Anna's Crafty Amore is also said that she would like to donate a prize. So thank you ladies so much for um, your prize donations and I am also going to be putting um, some prizes in this giveaway as well, or challenge as well for um, at for you know for you all participating. <laughs> uh, my words we got lost for a minute. Yeah, so I will also be having prizes to give away as well. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm not sure what my prizes will be just yet, but um, I will be giving some prizes. Alright, so yes, thank you to everyone. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't started yet, don't worry. This challenge is going to be a year-long challenge. It started May 1st, 2021, and it will run through May 1st, 2022. So um, for me, the process of actually making the yarn is what's going to take the longest. And um, the actual project is probably going to be a one-day project because I'm be arm knitting um, the yarn that I make. So I'm not sure if it's going to um, take the full year, but um, I will definitely update you guys and let you know when I have some progress. So this month, I had a lot of um, projects to do, So, and they all kind of requires sit down and attention time so I didn't get a lot done on those but I got a lot done on this because this is kind of like a no-brainer and when I'm watching videos and stuff like that I can work on it and um I don't have to worry about making mistakes so let's go ahead and check out my ball of yarn <laughs> so this is my ball of yarn that I have so far and um I have gotten quite a lot done, but let me show you guys this in between those stitch markers right there is about four rows of crochet. And so, um, Arp <laughs> decided he wanted to practice uh, his crochet, so uh, he did a few rows for me. He did about four rows on that. So, thank you, Arp. I appreciate the help. <laughs> And he is getting a lot better at his crocheting, so that is awesome as well. But um, now I'm just going to unroll this so you guys can see the different colors in it. Alright everyone, so if you made this part of the video, I just wanted to share um, another giveaway with you guys. And this giveaway is coming from Darlene over at Discovery Knitting. She has hit her 300 sub subscribers mark. So congratulations to you, Darlene. And she is celebrating with um, a giveaway. So this is sort of a hidden giveaway. She really wants her uh, subscribers, one of her subscribers, to come in and uh, have a chance to win at one of these. And she's trying to avoid spammers. So she didn't want to announce it in her title. So please, if you haven't checked Darlene, out please go over and give her a chance she's really really fun to watch and to watch her discover about her knitting <laughs> so um i do enjoy uh, her channel so if you haven't checked her out yet please go over check her out see what you think and um subscribe and get a chance to win some of her goodies that she's sharing with us okay guys so um congratulations again to you darlene on the growth of your channel and i am so excited that you are enjoying yourself and um, your journey for discovering your knitting all right everyone so let's go ahead and give oh did i show you guys which one it's this latest one right here uh, where it says mistakes were made hashtag rainbow peak yarn so yeah you definitely want to check that video out <laughs> that is the giveaway video all right guys so go ahead and check it out i'll link it down below and um let's go ahead and get back into the video oops let's see how can i do this okay that'd be good 
So, um, I'm not doing too, too much color control. I am trying to, um, I am color controlling a little bit. <laughs> and I'm trying to mix it up in a controlled way a little bit. Um, when you see like double colors, that's because I had like two different balls of it or more. So, um. I'm not sure how long this uh this is just yet. So that was my beginning. But um I think it's quite a bit for the month. But guys, I have an update <laughs> on my plan for my project. So as you know, I was using a five millimeter a five millimeter hook um and crocheting in the round um to make this tube. And I decided to do a tube because that way I can just tuck the yarn tails inside and I don't have to weave them in. That is the only reason why I have a lot done on this is because I'm not worried about weaving in tails and things like that. And it's just, you know, it's just easy going in the round. So, um, yes, because if I had to weave in some ends, <laughs> that would not be good. So I'm just tucking them inside the tube and not having to worry about that. But um, I was using a five millimeter hook, and this has been worse than weight yarn so far. I think I did have. Let me see. This right here is a number six bulky, but I actually I think I split the yarn and then crocheted it with the smaller hook. I think I went smaller than a number five. But um, for most of this, I oops, for most of this I did do a number five um, crochet hook, five millimeter, and um. It is, I like how, I like the idea of this, but it was something about it that was just missing. So, um, what happened was, <laughs> is I had my, um, the vest, vest again, sh uh, shrug again, <laughs> I still don't have a name for it yet. Y'all gave a lot of suggestions, so thank you for that. But my, um, the item I made with the scrap yarn and the moss stitch for those two challenges, um, I had that in the same basket with this project and the yarn. So my the nine millimeter hook, or the is it nine or ten? It's the um oh right. <laughs> it's the uh it's a letter in prim crochet hook that um Angie from Love and Every Stitch by Ruby Baby had um blessed me with. So I had this in the same basket and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I switch my hook, what that would do, you know, how it would look. So I did a few stitches and I couldn't really tell like how it looked. So I decided just to start over and um, since I was getting ready to start with a new color, I just said, well, let me just start a separate tube with this hook and see what it looks like. So that's what I did. I started a separate tube with that hook. And guys, I am super in love with this. Um, let me see if I can show you how I just kind of... <laughs> I know Penny from Penny Ann Creations. She likes to show how her project will puddle. And then that's how she can tell the drape of it. But um, look at that drape. Now, if I do the same thing with this one, it's like, it's like I have to push it down. <laughs> And it's not draping as, you know, there's no drape. It's pretty stiff. So if I take this and make it into a blanket, yes, it will be thick yarn and it will make the stitches I need, um, you know, with the size of my arm. But it's not going to be as cozy, I think. So I am deciding to, um, I'm going to work, I'm going to start taking this apart, just working from this tube to this tube and adding it on. But I'm going to be using my 9mm hook and doing the same thing. So I didn't have to do quite as many stitches. I think I did 10 stitches instead of 20. And um, I think it came out just slightly smaller. But it's okay. I like the size of it. And um, I think the texture is really nice on this as well. And it's, um, it's definitely not as heavy and thick as with the 5mm. So I was like. Yeah, I don't really, I'm not making the amigurumi, so I don't need it to be tight. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm going to go with the bigger hook. So um, so this is what I got so far on that. It's not that much. 
But um, I really, really like this. This is something that I can see, you know, snuggling up with and being a really, really good blanket. So, um, yes, that is my progress and my plan. So I did switch it up just a little bit, but um, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to be crocheting this back into this kind of, you know, with the uh, letter N hook. And then I'll start adding more scraps on after that. So... <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why you're supposed to make a swatch, right? But I did make a swatch. You know, it's just a really, really big one. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking this. So I'm not mad about it. It was definitely a learning experience, and um, yeah, I think this is just gonna be so, so much better. So yeah. But let me know how you guys are getting along, and um. Yes, so thank you again for everyone who joined in on this challenge. I really appreciate it so much. And I am super excited to um, see all of you on all of your wonderful projects. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.